Ok, here's the deal. Something is bound to happen that can affect everything we've ever known about space and time. You've heard about black holes, right? That denser-than-life type of phenomenon that usually exists in the center of galaxies? Two of them, located 9 billion light-years away from Earth, are expected to collapse into each other. And my oh my, I do not want to be around to see that. Let's get one thing straight. Black holes are the most powerful things in the entire universe that we know of. If they decided to go all Revenge of the Sith on us, we'd be doomed. A black hole was once a massive star that went supernova, meaning that the star collapsed onto itself and the sheer magnitude of the explosion created a black hole in its place. Oh, by the way, black holes do not pull things inside like a vacuum cleaner. That's just a popular myth. Say we were to replace our sun with a black hole at the center of the solar system. Not much would change, except that maybe we'd all freeze, yeah. But black holes can do something much worse than vacuum stuff. They can delete the universe itself. If a black hole was to follow a normal timeline, it would go from its creation to total disappearance. But this process is very, very slow. I'm talking about billions and billions of years before a black hole loses its mass entirely. That happens because they're constantly losing their mass every single second. Black holes radiate their mass away, like a boiling teapot loses its water as steam. Yet things rarely go as planned, both in our lives and apparently in the universe itself. So it wouldn't be that much of a surprise to find out that two black holes are en route to collapse. That's what scientists have found out recently. And let's just say that this is one of the reasons why the scientific community is freaking out just a little bit. The first question that comes to mind is, what does that mean for us humans? Total annihilation? Now now, no need to be this dramatic. The best case scenario, we'd be in for an interstellar type of experience. Roll me in, please. Let's rewind a little bit to understand how this would happen. 45 years ago, a group of scientists began noticing a weird behavior coming from a galaxy far, far away. The galaxy is found 9 billion light years away, and its scientific name is a mouthful. But let's just call it Super Far Away Galaxy. You might be asking yourself, well, how did scientists observe this black hole so far away if it doesn't emit any light? Good question. That's because black holes gather disks of gas around them, and they emit some of this material into space. These jets can be detected from a distance of millions of light years. Now, if these hot gas jets are directed towards space, then scientists give these black holes a special name – blazars. A particular blazar has been gaining worldwide attention recently. Long name, but let's just call it Andy. Imagine you're a scientist at Caltech and you're looking at a blazar in your radio telescope and you notice its strange behavior. Its brightness goes on and off, like the ticking of a clock. At first, you don't understand what's happening over there in a distant corner of the galaxy. But then, you realize there must be another black hole circling the first one. In other words, scientists discovered that Andy was being orbited by another blazar, Gomer. And the regularity of their twinkling can only mean they are close to a total collapse. It gets worse. Each of the two blazars is estimated to be a few hundred million times the mass of our sun. Have you seen our sun? It's huge! It's already 333,000 times the mass of our Earth. This means we're destined to face something out of our league. Now, This is not the first time scientists have detected something like this. In September 2015, the LIGO Observatory detected a collision of two black holes. Each of them was as heavy as 30 suns, and an equivalent of three solar masses was released once they crashed into each other. And guess what? This gravitational wave passed through Earth at the speed of light. But we really weren't affected by it. Maybe you were sleeping and felt something weird in the air, but nothing significant happened to us as a species or to our planet. But that's because the blast was weak. The thing is, the expected collision between Andy and Gomer will send unprecedented gravitational waves throughout galaxies, and they will reach the solar system. But what is this shock wave actually capable of doing? Well, it could stop our sun from releasing gas for a few minutes, which means it would stop heating the solar system. 
So, let's say you were going about your summer day, and out of the blue, the atmosphere froze for a few seconds. Doesn't sound too nice, huh? But that's actually a better possibility than the next one. In one of the worst-case scenarios, a blast from the collision between Andy and Gomer could break bonds between atoms and make everything disintegrate. You, me, your cat, we'd all turn into flying particles floating in the vacuum of space. This may sound scary, but scientists say that an atom is made out of 99% empty space. This means that everyone on this Earth, all 8 billion of us, and everything that exists, planets, objects, animals, are all made up of 99% empty space. So perhaps all that Andy and Gomer would do is separate all of our atoms and desolidify us. Then again, the blast could mess with the fabric of space and time as we know it. You remember Albert Einstein, right? Crazy hair? He's the name behind the theory of relativity. Einstein discovered that time is relative. It's always dependent on the observer. This would mean that time is not the same throughout the cosmos. Why, though? Well, because Einstein's theory of relativity is also a theory of gravity. Einstein discovered that gravity is the effect that objects have on the fabric of space-time. Every object that has a mass, including you, me, your cat, and our planet, creates a warp or a distortion in the fabric of space-time that causes it to bend. The bigger the mass, the bigger the gravitational force, and the bigger the distortion on the fabric. It may sound complicated, but hey, this is what creates different perceptions of space and time throughout the cosmos. This is why you'll age differently on Earth and on Jupiter. This is why time passes completely different for astronauts on long missions and for people that remain on Earth. And this is why a collision of two mega blazars could mess with our perceptions of space and time due to the sheer force of its gravitational shockwaves. Got it? Not to mention that black holes are already a huge warp in the fabric of space-time. You remember that interstellar scene, right? where the lead character bends the space-time continuum through a black hole? Now, don't try this at home, though. As far as we know, anyone who chooses to go inside a black hole has no guarantee of making it home again. Scientists say that this blazar explosion will happen in approximately 10,000 years. But wait a minute. If this blazar lies 9 billion light-years away from Earth, It means that these two black holes should have already collided long before our solar system and home planet were born. You see, the solar system was born around just 4 billion years ago. And since it takes us 9 billion light years to receive the light emitted from the blazars in the first place, this means that the collapse of the two blazars already took place and it'll reach Earth 10,000 years from now. This means the shockwaves are already making their way through the galaxies at this very moment. But still, it's not something even your great-great-great-great-great-great-great-grandchildren will be around to see. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.